Because that's in the heart of Hollywood. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, like yeah. Because it's right Hollywood on Hollywood Boulevard. And, uh, yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah. yeah. Right by Hollywood High School. Yes, yes, yes exactly. But it's like chain link fence yeah. around uh -huh. with like a, a tarp. Fools were climbing over it, ripping it up. Like, it was insane. This actually looks calmer than it was because it was crazy. <laughs> it was like, these, these cameras oh, yeah. aren't catching what's going on in the background. Yeah. Really? You know? This is, but this is insane. Yeah, it was sick. Lesser known characters. Another episode of this show that you know you, what show it that is you've been tuning into for the past twenty four episodes. Or you clicked the fucking link. You clicked the link. You know why I did. Uh, today up. we have a very special guest, uh, one of my really really good friends that I met uh, was probably like two years ago. I think uh, at your um, first event. Well, let me say his name first. Uh, Luis Devil's Bed. I don't I don't call him by his last name. Devil's Bed is it. Fuck it. That's what he's in my phone as. Do I don't. Even, have, I don't have my last name on nothing. Yeah, he don't have his last name. Yeah, on I was so gonna we'll be, ask, but I don't yeah. know if we're sharing. But uh, that. but Luis, I mean, I'm okay with amazing it. Amazing dude, that. uh, go getter. Uh, he's got a hardcore band called Alpha and Omega. And he's got a side project that's really dope. Um, called Young Lords, which is very very different, obviously yeah. from. Alpha I listen to both on my way over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alpha yeah. and Omega is dope as fuck. Yeah, it's yeah, like thanks. super heavy, it's, and then it's great. Uh. Young Lords, Lords was was awesome. How, too, how yeah. great is Young Lords? I, you know what I like about it? It's got that like new wave feel, but it's all live. It sounds like still rocking. Like yeah, for it's not sure. like you know, ding, ding, like ding, it's not ding, super ding, super ding, new wave. It's like I don't. I'm know, trying to think. I mean, yeah. Joy, Joy Division came to mind. Yeah, I guess. Like, I guess. But, how would you dis describe? Like Joy Division is a big influence. Um, Interpol's a big yeah, one. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, Interpol's yeah, yeah, yeah. the other one I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, I think for us with that band, it's like uh, the music comes first, and then I come in and, and do my thing on top of it. And mm -hmm. I know their approach is just like taking you on a ride. Cool. Also has like you a know? shoegaze kind of feel to it as yeah, well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah. For sure. Which I, I, I fucks with shoegaze. Have you guys played live as Young Lords ever? No? No, nah, that's wild. like a weird... It's a weird one. Like, uh, we recorded it in... 2017 mm -hmm. and then sat on it for a couple years damn uh and then randomly put it out in 2020 like in the fall and you know pandemic all those yeah. dudes live in arizona okay i'm here in la wow so and that's the same with alpha too wait are some of the dudes in alpha also in young lords oh yeah it's the same dudes Oh shit, oh, that's shit. tight. That's different, awesome. different, different drummer. Yeah. That's awesome. But yeah, it's the same band pretty much. Yeah. Cool. Oh shit, that's yeah. tight. I, I actually didn't know that. Yeah. That's actually super fucking tight. But uh, but yeah, amongst a, a, a lot of other things, Luis runs a lot of really dope events. Uh, the first time I met him was at one of his events. Uh, I was uh, was that in Boyle Heights? No, that was in Lincoln Heights. Uh, the Lowrider show. You, you came a, to the first one, right? Yeah, it was like a Lowrider show, art yeah. show, but it was like the whole block <laughs> was just like in which I, you know, I'm from Arizona, like we don't really have a lot of things like that. Yeah. Um, and that was just like you have the yearly meth parade. Yeah, uh, we do in, in Mesa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Mesa. <laughs> Well, it's a fast parade. It's over in but, about 15 minutes. But what was so dope about it is like I've been living in L.A. I think I think at the time I've only been living in L.A. like three or, or four years maybe. But it was just like like I got a strong sense of like L.A. culture because like I live in like mid-city and I'm always down to like Sunset and like, you know, doing, you know, shows at the store and Laugh Factory, all, all those areas or whatever. But like to, to go to like those areas and like you really get like a strong feel – because I feel like all the transit people, people from, not from L.A., like, aren't in those, strongly in those areas. But, like, that's where you, like, really see what L.A. was. Now, correct was, me if I'm wrong. Did you mean transplant when you said transit right now? <laughs> Can we clip that? That's another moment of Chappelle <laughs> not knowing how to talk. <laughs> Sorry, I Wait, cut you transient? off. transient? He said transit. All the transit people. And mm, I think he meant transplants. transplant people. Yeah, that move here. But I get it. I get it. You're right. You know, what part of are you? You're from L.A.? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah, part? yeah. Born and raised Los Angeles my cool. whole life. Hell yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm a, you, I'll let you guys do that. I'm just. No, no, no. My <laughs> sit, your, sit your ass down. Did I really say that? Yes. I didn't say transplant. No. No. You said transit. All oh, right. Well, I, yeah, well, I didn't catch it. But this yeah. fool over here is Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for it every episode. No, but yeah. Yeah. He's from the from the valley. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up in Sun Valley, but like, I don't know, like at a very young age, I was never 
uh, I was out and about, out in the streets, like yeah. not sitting still at all, all over California, period. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. like San Diego, Orange County, Inland Empire. Yeah, if you're from Ventura. Sun Valley, you're trying to get the fuck out of Sun yeah. Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Else. For sure. Yeah. Sun Valley's weird. Well, also, know? that's the beauty yeah. of like our culture, the hardcore and punk culture is like, it gets, it, it takes you like anywhere and everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I honestly, wait, I think he's the first hardcore people we've had on the yeah. show. Yeah. So, it, so. It, it, interesting enough, the reason why I wanted you to come on the show is one there's times we'll be chilling we'll geek out over like tons of music right but also traditionally like what's known in in the culture we come from is like you just stick with listening to a lot of that or things mm-hmm. kind of like adjacent to the hardcore culture and but like you you have such a wide range of like what you fuck with like and I feel like nowadays I feel like it's cool to like be like yeah, yeah I fuck with Creed yeah. So Dude, what? Isn't that crazy? You know what I mean? People like we're out here openly and being they love Creed. Yeah. <laughs> that blows my mind. You don't like Creed? In high school I was like, "Dude, these fools are whack." Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> and now here we are in 2023 and everyone's like excited. Oh, Creed. They're about to sell back. out a whole yeah. ass oh, tour. Oh, for sure. For <laughs> sure. Sell it out. Wait, it's crazy. I, I, before I wanted to talk real quick about the like what you felt at that car show cuz the other day uh you were talking specifically like Latino culture like in LA. George Perez did a main room show the other, like last week. Him and this guy, Concrete. You know jo- George Perez? I know the name. It sounds Yeah, familiar. he's, he's dope. Comic. Super dope. Dope, dope. But yeah. I was working the cover booth and fucking every, just fucking Chicano Central, dude. Yeah, and it, yeah, it, like, yeah. it just like filled me with this like joy. good feeling and joy. And I was like, damn, this is like my world. Like, um, I'm going to see your, like. Yeah, it was just so cool. It was like, it, it felt really good to like, I knew, I know the language. I'm like here, I know like the, mm-hmm. the, the, how it is. And it reminded me just of being like at uncles or aunts, like barbecue stuff like yeah. that. So I don't know when you were saying Oh yeah, that. yeah. I guess, yeah, I, I didn't realize I didn't finish what I was saying, but yeah, it was just really cool to see like, like, I'm like, this is, this is what like you hear about, like you see in movies, you hear about in songs. Like I, I was seeing everything right there, mm-hmm. you know, where, you know, like, cause like obviously some of the songs and movies try to represent, you know, LA culture as much as it can. And like, you know, to see it like actually right there in front of me was like, you know, I was like, damn, I live here. Yeah. You know, I live, I, I live in yeah. LA. It was just, it was just felt cool to like, you know, feel like I, you know, I felt like a part of it yeah. you know, in, a, in a very dope way. And it was beautiful, like no drama, not that I'm aware of, but uh, yeah. like it just, it was just pure fun, pure, like, yeah, we're chilling. There's dope art over here. Go see some cool cars as well. Mm-hmm. Like, I forgot what else you had going on. Like, you had, like, so much yeah, going on. Yeah, uh, tons of art. We had uh, we had tons of art, lowriders. I mean, DJs. We had, yeah, dan- DJs. we had a dance. The dance floor was bumping yeah. the whole yeah. time. Like, Luis it was, puts on events. I'm going to guess sick. there was tacos was involved. <laughs> no. Did we have food? Did you have food truck? Have food at that one. Huh. Yeah, I think that's the only one I didn't do food at, which I should have done food at. Yeah. That was my first. I didn't know it was going to be like that. Yeah. I mean, I knew it was going to crack, but I didn't know it was going to like crack like that. We Damn. shut down like five big city blocks off Olympic Fuck, in the heart nuts. of Boyle Heights. Like It was, it was so cracking. Like, Damn. Low riders on both sides of the street. The both suicide. Sides. I want to go. The suicide lane down the middle was yes. bumper to bumper. Cars parked, like laid out. Like wow. It was crazy. The fire okay. marshal came. The ghetto bird was over. Yeah. They tried to like shut us down. Yeah. I went out there and you know, talk to the cops. They're like, get all these cars out the middle. Get all these cars yeah, out the middle. Yeah, yeah. It was crazy. The wow. turn up was crazy. Damn. Yeah, it was cool. Like, I but, think the first time I met you was at one of your, was like a, an art exhibit. Was that the first was. time? We, yeah. Yeah. yeah was I a, think we met at uh, the Super Chief show. That's it. Yeah. Right? That's it. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah. 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 Uh, anyways, I'm a amongst, big Chaka fan anyway. Oh, yes. Yeah. You are. Dude, that's like, had some pieces there. He and, came hard for that one. It was really cool. Awesome. It was really cool to see Chaka come in the show. And just, yeah. We shouted him out a few weeks ago because he posted on Instagram like how he was uh, – Kind of, what was he? He was tra- getting off social media. He yeah. wants to like, get his life together. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. He lives in my neighborhood. I see him every once in a while. Yeah. The sandwich shop. Or I thought it was dope because he realized he's on tags the... all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, out here right now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just bored. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a disease with that. He can't stop probably. Yeah. But it was cool that he, he feels like he was at a turning point of like, I'm either going to fucking flush this or mm-hmm. I'm going to try to keep, keep rising. I need to take care of this shit before I... You know, he turns bad or whatever. But I, I think that he just finally was starting to realize that people were trying to give him his flowers. Yeah. And, and really open up some Hell doors yeah. for him to, like, 
step up you yeah know, to so a whole yeah. next caliber of of just a spotlight on him and i think he needed to yeah you know anytime i see it i take a out. picture I, the other oh, day yeah. i fucking missed a yellow light like i was supposed to turn and it turned red because my ass was trying to fucking catch a snap <laughs> Anyway, I'm the same way. Yeah, I see a shot. Oh, him, MQ, like yeah. this random fools. Where I'm just like, oh shit. Yeah, there's a few. I'm driving. Like oh fuck. The, the, <laughs> one of my favorite uh, uh, is the LOD logo. You know the fucking the circle. Yeah. LOD. Uh, I'll yeah, take yeah, a picture yeah, yeah. of that all the time. Yeah. Anyway. Uh. So, anyways, yes. Uh. Where, where was I? At? Oh yeah, yeah. So, we we asked Luis to bring in quite a few songs, and 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 with these songs, we we did it with questions. Hmm. Okay. And we'll we'll just we'll just go in the, the order of whichever you want to go wherever you want to start, but uh, but I'll let you take it from here, and then we we, we kind of just like flow and like Wait. run it. Okay. What what happened? Before what? we start, can I can I ask what did you listen to on the way over here? Yes, that uh, was his question. Uh, Slayer. Okay. Slayer for sure because that was the first question from your like, okay. You know, so I, I put on Slayer for sure. I was bumming Slayer, and then which one? Anything in particular? I just let it play from Spotify all okay. of it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Slayer, and then. What did I put on after that? I, I I I listened to Slayer almost the whole way, and then right before I got, I got off the freeway, I put on Combust from New York. Yeah, yeah, band. OG OG hardcore. Yeah, they're yeah. Slick. no, they're kind of a newer band. They're younger, newer? younger kids. Yeah. Oh, they have like the OG logo. That's what it is. They have a sick logo. Their logo sure. is like OG, almost like a almost like a kind of Crown of Thorns. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I love that band. Yeah, There's yeah. a bit of younger. Slayer in Alpha and Omega, like oh, hell style. Yeah. yeah, that I even heard like a little bit of Metallica. Like, cool, oh yeah, cool that Metallica. was that's what it was. Like, hell yeah, Alpha and Omega was like, all right, how do we do like all the metal shit that we like, like Slayer, Metallica, yeah, yeah. but it's yeah. also like some ACDC, cool. some Alice in Chains, you know, but also like keep it like hardcore. Hardcore, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, that yeah. that that's yeah. what that's how that started. Hell yeah. You, um, but I'm you know Slayer, they're a unique one to me. Mm-hmm. I've never seen them live, but like I've always oh. like fucked with a lot of that's, even even when they that's even, so upsetting it is that's so upsetting that you've never seen slayer like that's such an experience dude it's crazy every I time i seen slayer was the craziest show ever wow oh, really yes yeah. yes for sure like oh, crazy shit going down fools going the hardest like every long-haired heavy metal yeah. Mexican yeah. in the denim vest covered in patches ready to their die shit, dude ripping yeah. gates out of the ground yeah. fighting each other oh like, really oh yeah, it's people become possessed <laughs> I, saw, yeah. Yeah. I saw slayer play jimmy kimmel in the back lot once oh, shit. they came out <laughs> was that? i don't remember it's like honestly. god hates like, us all or something it was like, like that. uh i want to say 2008 or 9 maybe okay, okay, i could okay. be wrong on the date but uh-oh dude i think we got a video right here Luis right there in the middle i know right <laughs> it was crazy it was, it was crazy because it got because it got canceled and then they ran it back so this had to be- no, this oh, no, is no, 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 this isn't it. That'd be crazy. That'd be insane. it. Was like a small. It was a back lot, and they right only here. let in like a certain amount of people. Yes. Yes. Fuck yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, it was crazy. There's a parking structure to the side, and the people that couldn't get in every. Oh, this is with Dave. Every row. Every row for the parking structure, yeah. every level oh, was just filled. was filled with fools losing their shit. Oh god! The gates around it on the streets. That's in the heart of Hollywood. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, like yeah. Because it's right Hollywood on Hollywood and, Boulevard, um, Capitan Building. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah, right by Hollywood High School. Yes, yes, yes exactly. The ga- it's like chain link fence yeah. around uh-huh. with like a, a tarp. Fools were ch- climbing over it, ripping it up. Like it was insane. This actually looks calmer than it was because it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like these, these cameras oh, yeah. aren't catching what's going on in the background. Yeah, really. You know, this is but this is insane. Yeah, it was sick. It was Damn. sick. I saw Dave Lombardo with suicidal tendencies. That was pretty I met, awesome. I met Kerry That's King. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, I saw Dave Lombardo with suicidal too, for sure. Surf City Blitz. What's that? It was Dude. like a festival. That's where I saw them play. Oh, with him. cool. Yeah. So you was at this? Yeah. Damn. I'm telling you, like these cameras are just focusing on them playing. Yeah. It's chaos chaos yeah they like, don't want to show climbing that over these like 12 foot high yeah chain they don't want to show the shit that was going yeah. on for sure Fuck. damn Fuck yeah it. i met Kerry king he was super super nice awesome yeah Dude, i love slayer damn slayer uh even even when they uh, people got weird about what one of the albums uh diablos in music i think it's or type in slayer Di- just type in slayer diablo what they get weird about no, people like didn't fuck with that album like too heavy. I feel like Slayer no. fans are not the most open-minded. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, because no it was, disrespect, it, was but... it was different than like 
you know, a lot of like Slayer. I was like, that's were, what it is. Dude. They change it up. They're angry, dude. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah, oh, like 98. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It was a little new metal. It was a new, a little, a little new metal ish. But you know? I, but I actually really like this album. This was like, it hits, it hits. When I was a kid, this was actually the first Slayer album that I heard. Yeah. So like, I was just like, oh, this is, um, uh, they got a song on there that's, uh, fucking, I think it's called Bitter Peace. That's like slaps really, really hard. And that's what made me like a Slayer fan. And then I, you know, took a deep dive and went and went back. Uh, you can play a little bit of it. Uh, it just it's, has, rain, has, rain has and the blood long, was the, first the longest song intro ever. Um, uh, it's it's like got this new metal vibe, but it's but it's hard. still but it's still Slayer. It's like still it's still Slayer, yeah. hard. Like I mean. Isn't that a little bit like it probably sounds like a hardcore song, but a little bit, there's a, a little, little bit, bit of that, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad, mad ball of kind that, of. There's a couple of fools um, that did that. They went a little. You fast forward a little bit more. There's like some singles. And also, I don't think I don't think too, uh, I, think I don't record. think Dave was on this record. No, Dave Lombardo wasn't huh. on this record. I got um, David from Corn. <laughs> <laughs> David Silver. <Silvera. laughs> Great cover. Oh, the cover's hard. Yeah, it is. But this song was like, I was like, Slayer? That guy kind of looks like me. Hey, what's up, <laughs> <laughs> But like, still has that Slayer feel. Yeah, of course. Definitely. That's that Carrie think, King shit. Wow. I've been listening to a lot of Slayer lately, yeah. too, like more than usual. And I need to go back. I haven't gone back into this record. Yeah, record take take hard. take a deep dive into this yeah, record. I, it's a really good record, in my opinion. Cool. Um, so Slayer was the first thing that you that you played when you popped in your car. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Slayer. Get that, get that party started. Slayer. Because I always think about that. Sure. Like when you initially get in your car for the day. Like I don't even care if you don't have a car. When you when you if you take a bus. Yeah, you you're walking to the bus stop. Your skateboard whatever. is like you're you're putting on something that's like. Yeah. All right. How, how am I gonna start my day? Slayers is that an interesting way to start your day? Yeah. You drive fast. <laughs> well, you drive fast. or or Thin Lizzy. Okay, so you're you know. Fast. Yeah. You so know, Thin like, Lizzy. I love Thin that, Lizzy. Yeah. That's on your a, list? That's on my list for sure. Can I give you a gift, sure. Thin Lizzy? Yeah. 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 That's my midnight special. That's a band that I always hear that I'm like, I should listen to this more. They rip, but I just don't. And the other day, I finally just threw it on because they're so fucking good. Yeah. Classic rock ballads to like hard, just riffing shit. Yeah. Great yeah. song. Great. So, so Mike here runs a show called the Midnight Special on, uh, the, on the online like YouTube. It's an old show from like the... Uh, Ran from 73 to about 81. But yes. Thin Lizzy performed in 1977. Was but it had first appearance everybody... Of the yeah. Cool. But it was a show that was almost like wow. a... I don't know how you explain the show, but yeah, just showcases cool. all... Yeah. Oh, that's Slayer. Oh, wait, Slayer's playing. <laughs> I was like, I was like, damn, <laughs> Thin Lizzy's hard. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fat Lizzie. Slayer covered Thin Lizzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Dude, the yeah. riffs. The, yeah, the, the dueling riff. guitars. Ooh, that riff is fucking amazing. I love a, a black Irish guy. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that strap. What year is this, Mike? 77. 77. Ooh. God, it's so good. Player, man. Dog. player, riffing, just talking about being a player. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was this the, was this your song? What's what? Thing I was love this? this song. I actually I didn't put songs. I just put because I don't ever just go to one song. Yeah. So if I'm gonna okay, pick that's a, fair. I mean, that's fair. they got so many. Whiskey in the Jar, yeah. Cowboy Song. I mean, Cowboy Song is like I love. I put that so when, I think, oh, oh what you call it has that tattoo on him, Casey, our boy. Casey. Oh, does? Oh yeah, he, he does. Cowboy so song. when that's we right. uh when we're done with main room shows at the comedy store and we're cleaning it out, Danny Lucas, the sound guy, will play "Get Out of Here" uh, over the. Oh face. really? Like, I didn't even notice that. Yo, Cold Sweat. Uh huh. Put on cold sweat. Damn. I mean, actually. There's a hard photo of him in front of this sign that says no dogs, no blacks, no Irish. Uh huh. Oh, that's cool. He's Ooh, two out of three of those things. Yeah. He definitely has some dog in him. Yeah, for sure. All right, he's all three. <laughs> last song. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Ooh. What is this gold? 
dude, the, the sign in the back. Yeah, yeah their the logo's light. iconic. Oh, too, so man. I thought about getting it tattooed on me, honestly. Fuck yeah. I need a deep dive Thin Lizzy. Yes, you do. For sure. There's a lot there. Yeah? There's a lot. There's a BBC documentary that's really good. Uh-huh. Cool. Check that out. Ooh. Oh, come on, man. What have I been doing? Oof. Yeah, dude, come on. Dude, love this shit. That studded strap, too. Yeah, like, that studded strap hard. is hard. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a What dead. year did fucking Journey come out in? Because oh. I, ca- I can hear... think of Journey? Well, I'm just like, I... this definitely influenced that. It had to have. I was just thinking about like the I pop like nature of like... Journey might have been before. Th- okay. I could be wrong. I mean, Thin Lizzy came out what, like early to mid-70s? I think. Journey started it. In, in Journey? 73. 73 it started in 73. And was Thin Lizzy probably. maybe... I was just thinking about like rock and roll songs that are still. Then Lizzie's 69. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Like pop driven rock and roll music. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sort of the way he's singing. And I don't know. It just, I don't know. I like, I like I'm not a, I'm not a fan of that one, that big journey song. What? Uh, don't stop. Yeah. I don't yeah. like that song, but I, I like one it. Of the, I like, uh, how could you not like that song? Chappelle doesn't like fun stuff. I don't like fun. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. no fun. Um, <laughs> Dude, faithfully, <laughs> uh, faithfully gives you chills by Journey though. I, I like uh, Wheels that? in the Sky. Oh yeah, that's that song a good one. hits. Wait, put faithfully. I can't think of what that one is. I'm pretty sure I'm getting it right. It's the one. It's got a crazy solo in it. Shout out to Audi, our sponsor. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I know this. Oh one. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. huge song. This is yeah. fucking massive. Oh, I need to do a journey dive now. I did that once in my life. It's been a really long time since I did that. But... Yeah, yeah. What's that? Is that yeah. Florida? Looks like it. It does look. Like... Oh yeah, Ooh. yeah. This is big. I don't think I know this song. You don't know this one? I don't think oh so. really? When okay. The chorus hits. You'll know it. I, I that just. Yeah, yeah, that's I a cool video. video. Yeah, all the the tour, man. Yeah, from putting the sticker on the front window. That's like, where Bon Jovi got that sh- from. Yeah, this is guys, cool. this is the journey. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Fuck. That's so funny. Damn. <laughs> Look at Steve, uh, Steve. I forget his last name. Fuck. We can I parody the shit out of this. Steve Perry. Is that uh, his name? Yeah. Oh yeah. Steve parody. <laughs> Look how hard oh, that yeah. is. <laughs> Oh, oh, come on. Baby? He drops the kid. Yeah. <laughs> he drops the kid. The <laughs> look, 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 look. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what, looking at the picture of his wife, yo. This is dope. <laughs> look at that jacket. Fuck. And the limo the getting ready to go limo. to the venue. She's got Steph Tolev's haircut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, we're not as cool as any of these guys. At this moment, God, I miss lighters. like I haven't I haven't reached that level of coolness in my life the way they reached it right here. Yeah, because cell phones don't hit the same as the lighter. Everybody does the cell phones now, but it's different. The lighters, the lighters are uh, warm energy. Got to remind the obviously. band that we could burn this motherfucker down if they don't give us <laughs> the ballot, a show, or the ballot. Yeah. Okay, Joel. Joel? <laughs> I, I, saw, I, <laughs> I saw Cypress Hill like a week or two ago, and it, you know I'm used to the cell phone yeah. thing now. You know, but when I was a kid, I remember the lighters. You know, I saw that yeah. in real time, and yeah. uh, everyone smokes weed. At Cypress you went to the trash. Cypress still has the lighters. I was gonna say, dude, there was hella lighters, and I noticed that. I was like, oh fuck, this yeah. one's got lighters. Cause all these ones are high as fuck right yeah, now. You yeah, went yeah. to the, the Haunted Hill show. Yeah, fuck, I oh, wanted to dude, go to that. Sick. Yeah, it was sick. You, you did some guest vocals. I did on tra- with trash yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I've, hell yeah! I've done that since we were cool. kids. Always, yeah, yeah. you know. Awesome, dude. They they played at the Roxy and I fucking butchered it. It was so funny. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> I've never fucked it up ever after like I don't know 15 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not that night. I was like, night, oh, fuck. like oh, I'm out of it. Oh, fuck that Chappelle will fuck up <laughs> guilty by association someday. <laughs> I haven't yet. Uh, I've seen that a couple times with them. Oh, you have? Yeah, hell oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah You're a real one. Yeah, mad ball for life. Um, so, okay, then the uh, one of the questions that I really wanted to know, uh, damn it, what was it? Oh, yeah, if you're feeling sad. Okay. All Did you have these, one for all that? All the answers for these, I, I had like two to four. You oh, know? really? For sad, there's only one record. Whoa. Ooh. That's deep. <laughs> hey, man. Sun Kill Moon. What? Benji. Okay. Listen to that. Introduce record. me. It's depressing. What, what's as a, fuck. what's a, give me? It's what's depressing. The song? As fuck. What's the song? I I, it's the it. whole album. Like every song is about someone in his family dying or some kind of travel. I mean, all of it. It's really sad. So when really? you're but for me, that record holds something because I was uh, I was on a cross country drive, and I had just gotten into Pennsylvania. And I got a call from my friend Sarah and to let me know that our friend Sammy had just died mm-hmm. in, a, in a, he died in a, a house fire. Mm-hmm. It was really just so sad. And yeah. I hadn't listened to this record yet and I didn't know how yeah. sad this record is. Yeah. And I'm driving cross country by myself and I put this record on cause uh, another friend of mine had recommended re- recommended it yeah. recently. I put it on and it, I just cried. I cried sure. the whole way through. My friend just yes. died. I'm listening to all these songs about all these different people dying. This one, oh, about his like niece dying in a fire. Also, oh yeah, that's another thing. The first song is about his niece dying in a fire and I just got the phone call that my homie just died in a fire. Oh, jeez. When I first saw you, you were a lovely child. And last time See when I'm sad I can't listen to sad music It'll like take me into a hole but, Yeah So do you like, like this caught me I wasn't trying to put on a sad record gotcha. You know I just put yeah. this record on oh. It's very Storyteller I gotta, I gotta connect with you on this one I'll let this I'll let this ride out Ooh I guess you were there Some years ago At a family but you were one of so many Every song is like this. I didn't know uh, which one was you. And every story is heavy. Yesterday morning I woke up to so many 330 area code call. Now nice. I'm driving I just I my got the call. And she was in tears and asked how to spoke to my father. It like slowly washed over me the first time I listened to this record. Last night and a freak. Accident I had literally just got that same phone call. In her yard and Brewster, her daughter came home from a party and found her. <laughs> Brutal. Mom, Brutal. Who was her grandfather? I never saw Cam blew up in the trash. Oh. God damn, what were the odds? She was just getting ready to go to her. I was about yeah, to so say. Let me tell you something. Yeah. So what's what's unique? I think there's so much power in like songs, right? Definitely. I, you know, I, I said I'll connect with you on this one. So uh, when my brother died in 2013, I remember I had to go clean out his apartment, right? Mm-hmm. And my mom came with me, right? Mm-hmm. And she was like terrified to go in, mm-hmm. right? And then for something in me, I just fucking I had my I had my iPad with me or whatever. And I put on uh, Pantera, 101 Proof, and that song, New Level. And, like, the chorus, like, a new level. It says, he says, a new level of uh, of confidence and power, right? I love that song. Because that was the first time I, like, one, that was the first time my mom and I had actually, like, bonded, connected. Mm. And also, like, I felt like I was, like, the leader, like this new, like it was a new level yeah. of confidence and power that I had to have because I had to be strong for my mom because like she yeah. was terrified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She stood in the living room the whole time while I'm like just sitting here yeah. cleaning out my brother's apartment. Yeah, so like yeah, yeah. there's something in songs sometimes that like, like that's what made me realize when you told the story of your friend and then hearing those lyrics, I was just like it, immediately I thought about that Pantera song. 
Mm. Now I know Phil Ensemble did some shit, but anyways. No, just kidding. But that song and those lyrics and that that chorus, I think about it all the time. Any, anytime I hear that song, I think about yeah. having to clean out my brother's apartment. Mm. It's like it crazy what like a song can do. Yeah. That just like whew. I uh some of the times in my life that I've been maybe like genuinely felt strong or something is like uh when my mom's like going through something and i gotta be i gotta like step up and kind of like steer For the sure, ship yeah. so that she's not scared mm. it's some of that that's been some of the only times where i feel like i'm like actually capable of that that of doing that because you see strength. yeah you see that yeah. person like well yeah. my mom like yeah. you know my brother was that guy he was my older brother he was my yeah. oldest brother like you know and my only full-blooded sibling but like he was that guy that had the uh the power and the confidence to like hold, you know, our family. Yeah. And, and, and if that yeah. makes any sense, you, you kind of don't have a choice sometimes. It's just, yeah. And it was just like, Oh, he's, Oh, and it, like, and it really hit me that I was like, Oh, he's really not here. Damn. So I was like, damn, I gotta be yeah. that guy. Like she's looking at me. Yeah. She was looking at him. Now she's like looking at, cause like yeah. I'm the second oldest. Yeah. So she's like looking at me. This is just crazy. And how. so now your mom's a Pantera fan. Oh, she loves Pantera. <laughs> She was like, ah, Phil, he did whatever. Yeah, yeah, who yeah. cares? Yeah. You know? I forgive him. Pantera, my cousin's name. <laughs> <laughs> Pantera, my cousin's name, girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you Pan- Pantera, you don't get your ass over Chappelle, here. You, Chappelle, you don't remember, Chappelle, you don't remember your cousin, Pantera? <laughs> you didn't see her at the barbecue. <laughs> oh, my God. <goodness. laughs> Damn, he said one record for sad. That's hard. Yeah, yeah. So dude, who is who up. is who's Benji? Is he he's just like a singer? Yeah, I, I, I have no I idea. Never I never heard I, of this artist I, yeah. before. Oh, Sun Kill Me. You know what? He gives me like a J. He gives me like a J. Mascus. Really? You feel that? Yeah. He gives me like somewhat of like his voice. I hear like a little J. Is it Mascus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do a little deep dive on on Sun Kill Moon. That's the one record I always go to, but he's got some good records for okay. sure. Okay, yeah. So Sun we Killer. we did the sad route with the happy route. What's where's your like? Where you like? Oh, fuck yeah! Where you feel first... accomplished? Where you feel triumph? Okay, I have Talking Heads. This Ooh, must nice. be the place. Yes. Hell yeah! Come on, come on. Do you want me to hit you with all of them, or just start there? Let's start there. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Duh. You can't not be in a good mood. Yeah, on. that's yeah, that's happy music. It's where yeah. I want to be. <laughs> I just picture that fool doing that crazy dance. I know that yeah, weird dance. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Crazy. I, I might yeah. bust that one out for some lord, some lord shows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the big suit. Well, yeah. We've only practiced together in a room together once. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it, I had a, it's a different vibe. It just takes over for sure. And for I de- sure. it definitely is like possessive. Yeah. in a way, like entrancive. Or, Fuck. Uh, yeah. Uh. I didn't realize there's a video for this song. I didn't, yeah, neither did I. <laughs> Honestly, one of the most unique bands yeah. I think yeah. ever. Yeah, deep. Like, deep. Where I want to be. That's Pantera right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that my cousin? <laughs> uh. This you, this good yeah this how could is, you not yeah this is guaranteed like I'm happy yeah definitely yeah also, everybody's smiling yeah everyone's smiling you got babies yeah. and For sure. all kinds of shit and black people in the video in the fucking what the 80s here like yeah. and it they, seemed like they're actually like, like maybe friends Mork or, and Mindy like outer space shit going on here yeah look you at got this. some Fresh oh, Prince of Bel Air shit going on here yeah. now. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is all good. Oh, vibes. shit. There we go. Elmer Fudd. Yeah. Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Elmer Fudd. Not proper gun safety. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. That whack. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, all right. Black so that's, Cowboy? Yep. That's so that's hard. one of them. That's hard. Uh, back to Thin Lizzy. Hell yeah. Uh, Dancing in the Moonlight. Dancing oh, in the Moonlight. Yeah, Thin yeah, Lizzy? Yeah. Are you kidding me? How could you not be in a good mood when that song comes on? Top of the pops. Uh. <laughs> Come on, dude. This was a player, straight it's up. It's fucking magic. It's just like... 
I bet you do. Fuck yeah. This song comes on at the bar, and you see everyone just kind of tapping their foot, oh, yeah. tapping the bar, shaking their little ass. It's, it hits. <laughs> it hits. Okay, Put so this we, shit on while wait, I'm cleaning four? the house, you know, just in a so good mood. So good, man. Yeah. Fuck. yeah four I got, yeah, I got two more. Okay. Bruce Springsteen, Dancing in the Dark. Oh, wow. Bruce Springsteen, okay. Dancing in the Dark. I would, I would have never guessed. Wait, is that... I, someone, someone's in that video, right? Is that uh? I'm bad with music videos. I don't know shit about music videos. <laughs> this isn't the one with fucking. No, I'm gonna what? sound dumb. I'm not gonna say it. What? Courtney Cox is she in this video? No, this is an old song. Mm. She's like a kid. No, what am I thinking of? Did not know this song was called Dancing in the Dark. Yeah. You know this one, Mike? Dancing yeah. in the dark. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, he had me for a second. He had me. <laughs> oh, look at that young Bruce. You couldn't tell him shit right there. Yeah, this is the video with Courtney Cox. Oh, she's in it? I believe so. Did you what? You looked it up? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't texting. Yeah, I never said you were. Dude. Driving around town in the El Camino uh, with this bump yeah. in? Oh, we can't start a fire. Damn. Oh, what the fuck that? <laughs> you know, I'd be dancing. Look at that shit. Look at that crowd. Yeah. No, that's Motherfucker hard. shaking his ass. Everybody just up in arms. Yeah, this shit hits, right? Yeah. Wait, fast forward to Courtney Cox. Where's she at? I just want to be right. Is this the official music video? Oh, I guess it is. It says right there on the screen. Huh? <laughs> She's not in this shit. She is. There it oh, is. Oh, wait. That's her. Oh, shit. Yeah. Crazy. She's That's her. 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> She's standing on a bunch of Apple boxes. That's jail bait, Bruce. Don't go there. <laughs> Don't go there. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought I was deep dive. Yeah, I know stuff. <laughs> All right, what's the last one you got? She's got some short hair there. I know, right? Little Ugly Mane. Little Ugly Mane? Headboard. Little Ugly Mane. I Little Ugly Mane. Following me. That's my boy. Yeah, that's your boy? Yeah, that's my boy. He's live out here? That's family. He has, he's... Hey, Little he's Ugly Mane, follow me now. Yeah. Please, I want to be a part of this. I never felt so left out. <laughs> I just love the way this song hit. Damn, what, that's a again? sick statue. Uh, that. Headboard. That's what Chappelle's guts looked like when he had diarrhea. No, it didn't. <laughs> oh, this is dope. Ooh. I, I think that. Audrey would like this one. Yeah, yeah. she would. Oh, this is awesome. I live for this type of shit, yeah. yo. I love this kind of shit. Yeah. I smell a young lord's. Uh, this guy uh, Oh yeah Show or collab We have like a whole record That I've just been sitting on They're waiting yeah. for me to sing on it And him and I are gonna Cool He's me We're gonna produce it And work on it Cause this feels like that Yeah same. Yeah Yeah I love this song God, It's like happy chill yeah. so good There, shuffle. It's happy, but it's chill, you know? Yeah. It's like a good vibe. I like putting this one on at night. Yeah. Cruising around at night. For sure. I mean, oh, any time of the very, day, it's great, but. This is for sure night vibes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those are my happy tracks. Those are happy tracks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I forgot okay. what other questions I had. I have one. Oh, you, you have got? one? It kind of goes with the last thing. What's, what's the song that you listen to when you need uh, strength? Something that gives you strength. <sighs> Damn. Strength. Well, I had added something to your list about workout music. Yeah. Okay. But I think I, this song kind of can be here, or this not song, this record for both for types myself. Of strengths, like, 
Yeah, strength. Like uh, I, I needed a. Uh, so a couple years ago, I was about to go to prison, mm-hmm. and uh, right before I went to prison, I had like seven months where I was like fighting my case, like trying to see where this was gonna go and how much time <laughs> yeah. I was gonna serve and this whole fucking thing. And uh, I was listening to YG, My Crazy Life. There's mm-hmm. something about that record. I mean, it's not the I, most like motivating or uplifting no, or like you got it in you, but it's just it's something. gangster Bro, and it's hard record, and it's like yeah. let's go Bravado, get you know what whatever, I mean yeah. like yeah. I could go. Yeah, off I'd be jumping about rope. I'd be running all over the neighborhood, Hell just yeah. sprinting, listening to that record. And, Damn, sick. you know, yeah, like perfect. staring down motherfuckers. Like I could yeah. do anything <laughs> in that record with that record on. Well, mean, so this record for me is like this is in my top, dude. It this, hits. This, it, it, like this record is start to finish. Start Can I clear? Oh, okay, just, okay. I wanted to clarify because you know how like people in the music business they'll refer to songs as records. Yeah, like or like rappers would be like, yeah, we did that record, and they mean the song. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't know if when you kept saying that record, if you meant you mean the al- the album. I love the album. Gotcha. Yeah, most that of mine record. are albums. Yeah, that, this album is like I'll, I'll go. Uh, let's see, one of my favorites off here. I don't think uh, the, I've ever the, heard the this. opening track. Really? Uh, BP, yeah, and I, I the opening don't know track a lot about... BPT. Yeah. Yes, the first Bro, two like that, I, there's like the first... intro with the mom, but yes. then tracks two and three like the actual first two songs. Oh man, and he's an LA guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's LA. He's Treetop Pyru, maybe, or is he the one who did the fuck Donald Trump? Song? Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. He got that World Industries fucking tat. Yeah, got uh, Flame Boy. Yeah. Hey. So oh, it's West Coast. so West Coast. Yeah, <laughs> it's a super West Coast record. What black? What black? What black? Folk hunted so hard. And it's funny because right after I got out of prison, I, I helped on a, I, su- I brought a bunch of lowriders to a YG music video and I met them. You did? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was cool. So hard. Can you get those cars for a mad peaceful video? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's run it. And then uh, the song he does with Drake, Who Do You Love? Yeah. Who Do You Love? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a good song. Oh, go back a little bit. Sick. So basically what's cool about this, this part... He breaks down getting jumped in. Uh, yeah. Hold on. All right, here. That's not the most motivating, but it is. <laughs> you get it. When you're about to go to prison? <laughs> this shit is right. Yeah. Put on by four, right? Oh, street top bombing. Yeah, I got put on. Gosh, I love this record. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. Dude, yeah. and when he did, it so oh, fun fact, not fun fact, but like recently when we saw Fifty Cent uh, at the the fucking Staples, mm-hmm. I'm gonna call it Staples. Yeah, me too. Forever. Uh, fuck, I don't know. What the it's fuck so crypto weird is. calling it. it, it yeah, that crypto, crypto money is about to run out, though. So yeah, they're exactly. gonna change that name sooner well, or later. They just needed enough to pay for the fucking sign. That's yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Punk asses. But anyways, <laughs> um, so Fifty Cent brought out YG, and like all of a sudden, like the kind of lights just like went out, and then it's just like that, dun, and then it's just B P. In, in the, That's hard, dude. You saw everybody just fucking. <laughs> yeah what, what song Dude, is that I, it was just one i just one? played yeah, i saw yg he opens with that song okay a lot i've seen you seen him live dude i saw him play the first babylon store oh damn like a tiny like 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 house party the, so the first be like, the first babylon shop was was a house on highland was that like 2010 it wow. was 2000 i want to say 15 15 or 6 15 15 maybe Dude, it was sick. sick? It Bab- was sick. Babylon. I mean, it was like a it was like a a lawless house party. Oof. Oh, you know, yeah. It was it was bad. It with, was cool. That's the only the time I seen YG perform too. Yeah, I saw him like I on saw... the floor, like everyone crowded around him, yeah. like everyone losing their shit. I, mean, I guess there, there were that uh, close, but... Nas balloons floating around. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a that's a staple in Los Angeles culture. Yeah. But for some reason, there weren't any that night. For some Damn reason, it. you know, I don't know. Uh, and Babylon, they're they're connected to Trash Talk somehow, right? Yeah, a, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. See, because I thought Trash Talk was from New York, from Babylon, New York. Because I'd always see the Babylon when they they'd have the shirts. Oh, got mm-hmm. it. I didn't realize that it was like a what is a skate shop? It's a clothing brand. Gotcha. Yeah, okay, it's a streetwear okay, cool. clothing brand. I mean, they Sick. always look. They've had two shops, and there's always a really cool bowl 
to cool. skate in the back. Okay. I mean, it's very entrenched in skate culture, but yeah. like very multicultural skate brand or uh, streetwear brand. Gotcha. Dope. Yeah. All right. I'm going to check that out. You're Interesting enough, when t-shirt. you talk about like the strength that you bring up, I, I, I just thought of something. I, I, I made like when I work out, like when I'm like doing like, especially like heavy lifting, I, I, I just realized I have a whole like West Coast hip hop playlist. Yeah. It's like there's something about. Lift, lifting the West Coast hip-hop. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Me, Drake, Chronic like, 2001. You just feel big. Yeah. Like, even if you ain't the best looking <laughs> at the gym yet, but, like, you feel big and you feel like it just, like, like, I don't need no pre-workout. I got this. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? That's how I feel when I work out to, like... I do both. You, right. Oh, you do pre-workout? I do two scoops of the C4. God, I get 300 <laughs> milligrams of caffeine. Damn. And I go wrestle with these fucking gorillas. Wait, you, You're you zooted. You take before jujitsu? Yeah. Pre-workout? Yeah. I can't focus without it. I'll, I'm too like I'll, I'll be fucking. I'm the opposite. I'm like smoking weed before I go do jujitsu. Yeah, a lot of people. That's a big yeah. thing. It is. It is. It yeah. is. I don't like... want to be choked while I'm high. I'll fucking freak out. <laughs> you'll be like... Claustrophobic <laughs> to the max, dude. No. You're like what? I'm just. I'm lazy too. Like I don't. I need like a little bit of a boost to go to to be there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't dig deep. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, man. Yeah. I was it's West Coast. Uh, Hip hop yeah. records to work out to Fucking Dr. Dre, uh, Chronic 2001. Hell yeah, yeah. Easy, that's at that time when I was listening to this, I was going back and forth between that. Yeah. Those two records, those were like my daily mm-hmm. records. Like, yeah, a lot of burpees, a lot of jumping rope, a lot of running, just to those records. Yeah, <laughs> straight <laughs> up. Damn. So okay, what else did I have? Hold on. I, I forget my questions. You have them. Read it no, down. I, I, I got it. I, I got it. You want me to tell you? Oh, what'd you say? Feeling angry, feeling in love. Let's do feeling in love, dog. Cause I, I love oh, love. Yeah. Yo, this was hard. I'm actually I one of these artists. It's a song I love, and I can't pronounce the name on it. Oh. Can you? You have the list over there. That second one. The first one. The first one is an artist named Evil. Okay. And then the A-B-O-L? song is called Evil. That's that's huh. their name. Huh. And the song is called uh, Slow Dance. This shit's bad. I love this. Is, shit. is it a, a female? Mm-hmm. Is that a female? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that female's name? Hey, what's up? Is Pantera? That a, is that a female? Did you do that photo? Yeah, <laughs> it looks like it, huh? Yeah. Uh, looks like something I do. Rough night. <laughs> <laughs> or a great morning, one of the two. Ooh. You know what this reminds me of a little bit is uh, watch. I don't want you, but I need. There's something about the the backings coming. Yeah, in. That, that same vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm in love. I want to slow dance with you, baby. I want to just. Just hold you tight and just slide around the room. <laughs> Light some candles and chill. Hell yeah. <laughs> My favorite. Yeah. I'm like feeling some like romance shit. I'm yes. literally real talk, not even lying. Like I'm literally feeling like a rush to my body through this. It's a good song. It's a great song. It's a great song. Yeah. I love that song. Is she, is she LA? I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh, you don't know much about her. And what was the song you couldn't pronounce? Uh, or the, well, you couldn't pronounce it. You see. Z- <laughs> yeah, how dare you, man? Zioxy. I think I'm butchering the shit out of that. Zo Zosi maybe. Zosi. That's what I'm guessing. Or Zochi. I call it a fanciest Zoe I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. So Zoe, yeah, that too. Yeah, Zoe. Zoe with some attitude. We got some <laughs> captions of this one. Mm. Shit. Wow. Hits. Cool. I love those filtered oh. snare drums, like yeah, know. yeah, me too. And then it comes in, you could. Cool yeah. Forget the ones in Tennessee. Bro. Mhm. Y'all 
I'm in a trance right, right now. Right here, right here. That bass slide was. Cliffhanger. I know, a little cliffhanger there. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I fuck, I just love traditional love. I fucks with it. I don't I don't believe in this, like, hooking up with 50 billion people yeah. to try to find something mentality. Mm-hmm. And, like, sometimes, like, you'll hear some of these songs that are just, like, especially, like, the, the OG stuff. Like, mm-hmm. you know, when you think of, like, the Four Tops I was, and all uh, that shit, like, all, uh, all the... Um, all the songs that like are played in like the lowrider cu- uh, culture. Oh yeah, like all those OG. Oh like, yeah, I could have definitely like, gone deep down that. Yeah, route. like that type of stuff. Like fucking, where it's just talking about like just love in a way that like yeah, like and it and it, it makes love like so simple. You know yeah. what I mean? And not so like hey, mm-hmm. this doesn't even have to be chaotic. I just love you. Mm-hmm. And I'm like damn. Yeah. That's what I like. Yeah. That's it. That, that puts me. That puts me in the. That I vibe. just thought of something while we were listening to that that I don't know why I didn't think about before, but Sade. Oh. oh yeah, Sade. Mm. That's love music right there. That's yeah. love music right there. Yeah, that's love music. Yeah, Man. yeah. I mean, there, there's a, there's a, a like a sweetness and a and a calmness that comes from that traditional sort of like, uh, relationship thing, and then there's like an anxiety and a chaos that comes from, the other thing. Like, like, what do you mean? Like hooking up, like running around town. Yeah, like, like it like there fucks this, with your head. Some people can do it. For some people, that's like they're fun and they can like be lighthearted about it. But yeah, my shit goes like to the pit. Well, I, I tell like you what, man. Anyone what that anyone I've known that way, I've never seen them fucking happy. Yeah, I was like, them. yeah, you know, because yeah. because even though they're like, nah, I don't get my feelings involved. They get their feelings, bro. You're 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 fucking bumping uglies. Yeah. You know, you sharing your uglies with somebody, <laughs> right? Am I, I, tra- don't, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, don't know. I, mean, I have friends who have, love is who love and it. sex is sex, and they can definitely intertwine with one another and and be a lot of fun depending on like yeah. who you choose to, you know, indulge in those things with. I think we you, don't you know, have that type of personality. No, some people can. Some people. Well, can I just do saw it, my friends right. doing it. Like when I, I remember growing up and just seeing all my friends. Just you don't like, have any friends. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, what friends? Seen, uh, yeah. seen, seen these people at school. Just, <laughs> <laughs> the other, the, the other school. The other school <laughs> I went to. No, uh, no, I would just see like so many homies like just live that life of like you know like growing up like doing that. And I was I was the kid that was I was trying to fall in love. You know yeah. what I mean? But like all my homies, and they were always caught up in some mess. But this is high so school. I, this is like junior high. That's the other thing. That's that's yeah. not. I, I, adult, I know, but, yeah. I know. But like, yes. But I still think about that. It's still fools like, are on the party it's, line. Like, it's still trying like to meet the party. Hook up with highness and shit. You know, yeah. meeting Come behind the, the bungalows back. in high school, yeah. middle school, making out and scamming and shit. Yeah, oh, it's a different scamming, type. Of, it's a different dude. type of love. Hey, my friend said, "What's up with the scam?" <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Motherfuckers walking around with hickeys on their neck and shit uh, at the lunch table. You're like, damn. You know, uh, I, I guess just any time, like, you know, junior high, high school, like, any, you know, whatever, I just always saw friends in some, like, fucked up shit because of it. So yeah. I just like, oh. It was always a girl with, with hoop earrings and crispy hairspray hair. Like mm. the oh, hell. The, the crispy <laughs> curls, dude. Fuck. The wet curls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> love that yeah. shit. <laughs> Uh, I love that <laughs> shit too. But I, all right, well, I guess I'm tripping. No, no, you're not tripping at all. No, no, no. I'm with. But you. I think, I'm like, from that side. perspective of like young love, it can be pretty messy because you're learning how to navigate those waters and you're unfamiliar and your hormones are raging and you know, like it's a, a whole, it's a mix. It's eighth a, it's and ninth a, grade breakup. Different nothing hurts feelings. like that. Oh, dude. brutal! Like, oh, oh, I didn't God. even have that. You're just like. <laughs> so oh, really? bad yeah but now you're like what the fuck was i said that shit didn't mean anything <laughs> yeah. Yeah. actually you, oh you realize i that? still talk to my my uh like middle school high school yeah. first love Wild. yeah broke my heart I mean, she uh, moved away her parents moved away oh okay. so it was like oh uh, you know like yeah. gone, Damn. Taking i away wish from some me. of them would have moved away <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I never i never had that high school junior high breakup mm, really yeah. that. no my mm. first relationship was at 31 oh yeah. wow okay wow. That's cool. You know, so I got it. I never felt that like. 
Damn. Yeah, yeah, you're you're mentally in a place to do that too at 31. I feel like it's like that's probably when we should start. Yeah, no, you're so you yeah. know like just mature and developed, and yeah. you know it's like your brain's not done developing till you're 25. Yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. Imagine all the shit you get into before then. You know, to yeah, wait till yeah. 30 or 31. 31. It's a great jumping off point technically. Yeah. You know, to avoid a lot of messy sticky situations and yeah. heartbreak and Damn. all kinds of shit yeah. uh, I'm sorry y'all went through that in high school <laughs> <laughs> you guys okay yeah you guys I'm good boy. baby I'm Puerto Rican I'm a Latin lover yeah. I didn't love him since I was a baby <laughs> he's trying to drop cake batter yeah. <laughs> welcome to the British Bake Off yeah the Puerto yeah. Rican Bake Off hell yeah okay well, alright uh, one of the questions I do remember <laughs> is. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you really remember that one. <laughs> feeling angry or guilty pleasures or yeah. if you were to buy some no, CD. I, I, I know what he feels angry to. Uh, nah. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah, see, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I want to do we were hanging album, out last night. album Stuck on an Island with. Oh, that's good. I mean, I'm doing a lot of. I'm, I'm sorry to be so repetitive, but. No. Then Lizzie, greatest hits. Fuck yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, because there's every type of vibe there, you know? And yeah. it's just like every song you sing along to, they got That's hard riffs, one. they got ballads, they got, you know, everything. Like, I don't know. I like Jailbreak. that. Jailbreak. Yeah. The lyrics. Jailbreak, could, Cold Sweat. Yeah, analyze forever. And then, like, you know, Cowboy oh, Song and Whiskey Jailbreak? in the Jar. For Midnight Special? Damn, that's goaded. <clears throat> Jailbreak's hard. The boys are back in town? Yeah. You kidding me? Yeah. Ah. Oh. That was Aretha Franklin. She almost got hit by a fireball right there, by the way. Yeah, really? Shit. Wow. <laughs> it's still on fire on the right side of the, on the stage. Right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, it is. Homie's just chewing gum, still playing. We almost killed her. Tonight <laughs> right. is gonna be a jailbreak. Somewhere in this town. See me in the boys, we don't like it. So we're getting up and going. This fool said this choker will be will come back in 2023. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring it back. Yeah, oh, I have a couple. It all comes back. It always comes back around. I'm waiting for the Pookie Shell one to come back. <laughs> bring it back, dude. Nah, never. <laughs> hey, how, just, how about Pookie Shells? <laughs> <laughs> Little meth pipes on a fucking... Oh, dude, when I was exiting the freeway, there's a fool right there hitting <laughs> the 10 and 2 right there, right off the exit. I was like, nah, I'm hey, going in. Hey, uh, how did he pass away? Uh, well, damn, I do know, but I'm drawing a blank on it. He was it drugs? No, he had um, man, what was it? Uh, he had a a, a sickness. What, oh damn. really? What is it? Hepatitis. Damn. It Did he die of hepatitis? Let's see. Okay. Well, heroin probably didn't. Well, he was. They were very like him and one of the other guys. We got really into heroin, which was like. Oh, pneumonia and failure. How, it died, how they like pneumonia and heart failure due to septicemia. What that is? What that? Septa. Body's arises when the body's response to infection causes injury to its own tissue and organs. Mm. So this is someone's arm, and mm -hmm. I imagine some needle work. You can kind of make your arm a little sick. Some mm -hmm. heroin mm -hmm. back in the day oh, in your body. Got it. Oh, needles, so it's like septic. Needles, you, when you go septic or whatever, you're basically like rotting and shit. From yeah, that's what the root of the word is. Okay, cool. Yeah. Se septicemia. <laughs> septicemia. That's my cousin's name. <laughs> <laughs> you know septicemia and Pantera sisters. <laughs> septicemia and Pantera. Man. <laughs> all, right. all right. There was a sticker at the Martlet that said like "Thin Fucking Lizzie" or something like that. Wait, what? Wait, a... what's an album you can stay stuck with? Fuck, dude, I didn't think about this. Um, that's a tough one, man. Pennywise. No. Ooh, straight ahead, Pennywise. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Start that, to finish. I also thought the harder they come soundtrack, but it's but that's I don't know if I could. Do just reggae. Uh, mm. Damn, I'd have to think of something that's like eclectic. Fuck. I don't know. Damn. Can you think of one right yeah. now? <laughs> of course you can. Yeah. Oasis. 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 Which one? Morning Glory. Shit, whole fucking discography. Just one. You get one. Oh, just one? One record's oh, hard, you know? Yeah. All right, if like, I just, usually it's like, oh, what greatest the... hits is good. Yeah, greatest hits, for sure. Damn. 
Oops. Now that's what they call music 13. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 My little brother. Pure moves. Well, I told you about Damn. my brother, my, uh, yeah. with autism. Yeah. He, he, my little brother, I have an autistic brother. Yeah. And like, he loves the now. Oh, does he? Oh, bro. He's always texting me. Can, give, can you give me a now CD? All the fucking time. He <sighs> loves the now. How old is he? Uh, He is. Younger or older? He's younger than me. Uh, I like that. He's uh, 34. My uh, my cousin David, he's he's autistic, and yeah. he's just like an encyclopedia for movies, and oh. it's it's so why I love Man. I love rapping out with David at like Christmas or wherever you know I'm, I'm not a big holidays or family person really, yeah, so same. like I like to like get with David and get in the corner and just be like, awesome. let's talk about yeah. this, talk about that, and yeah. just, just let him go because it's sick. Damn. Fuck yeah! I was thinking maybe like the fucking the Beatles' greatest hits. Just because of the variety, and I'm Is not even like I'm not even like a hit? huge Beatles guy either. But it seems like there's a there would be a lot there on the island to to go through. The Beatles are amazing, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I love no, I, I love, I love them. people are always torn between the Rolling Stones or the Beatles. Album? Yeah, yeah. And I don't sure. know if I could pick one, but I love I love yeah. both. I love. Yeah, both. I just think that like actually, so, you know what? Fuck that. I'll go with Beatles over Rolling Stones. Yeah, for sure. I think I would too. For sure. Yeah. They don't have Oasis doesn't have a greatest hits album. Doesn't look like. All right, so if I had to pick one. Maybe this is uh, time flies ninety four to two thousand nine. Yeah, I, I'll do that. That album right there, the vinyl for seven hundred and seventy eight dollars. Oh, yeah, get it? Yeah, just order it, it right now. That's yep. a pretty good price. Say I won't. Yeah, yeah. I just think that there's so much to go through the Beatles catalog to that I wouldn't get bored of. You yeah. won't see me. You won't see me. See, like I don't even know what that is. What is that? Uh, it's called "You Won't See Me." Okay. What is this here? The classroom? What, when they, what is? On movie day? Hey, did you say what is? What is? What is? What is? <laughs> what is? Hey, what, hey, what, hey, uh, hey, what is? Hey, what teacher, is that? What, what is? Okay. You won't see me? <laughs> <laughs> say something about me being dark. Yeah, that's, yeah, well, that's, that's the joke. It already went through. Nobody heard it. I was saying, is that what you would say on, on movie day in the classroom? You won't see me. You sneak out. Or they turn the fucking projector. Hey, on. teacher. Hey, teacher. Teacher, you forgot to give us homework. This one time, Chappelle was in my yard at night. Yeah. And I walked through my garage, and I didn't realize he was there. And he just smiled, and I just saw his teeth in his eyes. And oh, was, was like, that what? Uh... I was like, bro, you are so dark. It is crazy. It is crazy. I said it right there. I was like, that Chappelle. was wild. Was that when, uh... Oh, you? I, I was coming. I didn't even. When well, we went to the walk, I we think. We went to the walk. We I went on that walk. walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, luckily, luckily you wasn't strapped or nothing. Yeah, you True. gotta announce True. yourself. Oh yeah, I've, yeah. I, know, I should, I should have yelled. Been in hey, yo, I'm here. Yeah, devil's bed. I'm here. Uh, so <laughs> we only have two more. What do we got? The feeling sad. The feeling we got happy. guilty pleasure, and we got anger. If, so, anger. Yeah. So we have. Let's do pleasure. anger and then guilty pleasure. Yeah. Because I'm interested to know. Yeah, what I'm the, interested in anger. I'm trying to get over. I, I can't wait to tell you my anger. It. You know, I was thinking about this. I put. I put. Since I was a kid, three six mafia. Okay. Yeah. I'm not the black of your ass. This is a <laughs> there ain't no bitch in my blood. Crunchy black. This shit hits. I'm not the black of your ass. I'm not the black of your ass. So hard. And then like three six mafia, uh, the unbreakable. Did the you unbreakable? know? Did you know that it would actually take twelve rounds to knock the black off his? Ass? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna get canceled after this. I'm trying to find a video of when I played You're with. Not helping uh, your case wearing all black too. <laughs> In a black chair. Yeah, black headphones, everything. Yeah. I'm trying to find the video of when I played with DJ Paul at the comedy store. You played with DJ Paul? Yeah. We played Fly Till I Die. He came to that, That's the shit of life. Right now. Yeah, when I was yeah, a kid. Well, well, I had the, uh, the that Unbreakable. <laughs> <laughs> the Unbreakable? Yeah. The Unbreakable? Yeah. That record started to finish. I mean, just, I just had so many memories of being a kid, just driving around with my homies, just looking mm-hmm. for trouble, just bumping that. Uh, to yours but, like, or that to the lesser known? Text it to either one. Three Six Mafia could go either way, too. Like That's like party jumping music, party jumping music but it's but also like, like stomp you out music. Mm-hmm. Okay. I said it to lesser known characters. Check this out. You got something? Yeah. 
the what, what's the what's the story behind this? So he would just came to roast battle to judge, and we were the band. Oh. Wait, did you learn this? Uh, no, I mean, yeah, we had we we just had it, I guess. Who's paying me? <laughs> that's Dude, hard. Joel, that's sick. Yeah, it was very cool. Is that Jesse over there too? Yeah, it was me, Jetski, and then Chroma. Chroma wow. Guitar, yeah. It was awesome, That's man. hard. That's cool. Very cool. But yeah, 3-6 Mafia. I mean, it's funny. I was thinking about this. I was like, you know, 3-6 Mafia is what you listen to when you're about to go into battle. Mm-hmm. And then Slayer is what you put on after you're torturing your hostages. <laughs> you know, like the war hostages. <laughs> like, uh, dude, uh, do you know what mine is? If you had to guess, anger. Yeah, anger? break stuff by Lip Biscuit for sure. <laughs> for sure. What is it? Mm-mm. I don't know. I I, uh, I don't know where to set what, it off. It Mad ball. Is it? No. See, like I could I could say that too. Like, there's a lot I for say, you I know. Say that Mad- for sure, there's Mad Ball. Set it off, start to finish. Under Ice songs that get me. Yeah. You know what I mean. Uh, but my oddly enough, and even though it's not a uh, a fucking song, but like our God it, is an awesome God. No, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Black Flag, Thirsty and Miserable. Oh, okay. Put that on. I don't know that one off the top of my head. I'll we'll do a live video of it because it's specifically Thirsty based on the miserable. Because it's strictly uh, right there that performance. I guess mine would be fucking what, Rise Above. What singer is is it? Rollins. That shit just gets me like When I'm angry it's that song On repeat turned up loud And it's about drinking Right And I don't drink obviously But the intensity of this song in general Is just fucking I don't know I wanted to recreate this for like a Mad Peaceful video Should Yeah Yeah That'd be cool Yeah Hell yeah could shoot it with film an it on a film it on a handheld camera too, or maybe oh, even really? a sixteen millimeter. Yeah. Find a cool simple room. You could go to that's a practice space. Yeah. Would you do like a backdrop, something like that? Yeah, I would like to. We could sure. just make it a, on a sheet or something. Spray paint it on like. Oh a big yeah, sheet. we just did that for the Alpha show we just played. Yeah. Me and my homie got a tarp. Hell yeah! Uh, yeah. And we just painted on the tarp. Yeah. Like, he painted on the tarp. I'd probably keep my shirt on for sure. Nah. You just blend in. That's so dark. Dude. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have to, yeah. Let me get a shirt. Yeah, I'm getting there. roasted by the producer. Oh, I'm getting roasted now? Is, there, yeah, is that what it is? Hopefully not too roasted. Cause <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker's already roasted. <laughs> was born hey, roasted. Y'all look at my darkness. That's my favorite thing about me. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be offended. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> but yeah, that's the song that like fucking... I think it, I like. It, uh, it's mainly because so, I, don't, I I guess I've never really told you this. So, when I like when I was dealing with shit with like at home with like my stepfather and all that shit, and I was introduced to Black Flag at an early age, and I was shown that video, mm. and I was like, I was like, I think that's who the fuck I am. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, I think that I was like, immediately that's identified with it. Yeah, that immediately resonated because I was just like feeling all these things, but didn't know how to really, you know, what like what where I could connect with yeah. it. Yeah. And when I saw that video, I was just like, who's that guy? Yeah. I was just like, that's, that's what it is. I me. felt like that with the decline when I saw black flag. Oh, and I oh, saw like oh, depression cool. with, yeah, I was like, Oh my Dude, God. When they do is. revenge. Yeah. Type in black flag, revenge, decline, and just decline after that. I think rice above would be my fucking angry. So when he's like jealous, cowards, yeah, trying try to control. control. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, ah, it just, yeah. fucking, yeah. that if I was to pick a black flag song, that would be the yeah, one as well. It's a fucking anthem, for sure. Dude. Black Flag, Revenge, oh, uh, Decline. From in, Type in Decline. I mean, I was also like a de- right depressed kid, too. So when they played Depression, I was like, oh, fuck. I never heard this you know. right here. Okay, this next song is for the LAPD. This was Puerto Rican. Yeah. yeah. I've talked about that, too. That was like a big deal for me. Just as a brown kid, I was yeah. like, they got a brown singer? Yeah. Rock music. They call us 
nuisance and they got banned from your club <laughs> what was it called what's the club called blackie anyway, bitch <laughs> fuck off <laughs> your club that's bench. fucked up it's not my imagination I gotta go to my Oh, that guitar, I know. Yeah. the clear guitar. We're gonna get revenge. You won't know what hit you. Don't tell me about tomorrow. Don't tell me what I'm dead. Why can't they abrupt? Man, you know what's so crazy? I'll say this about Black Flag. Like, everyone's like, I have my favorite singer or whatever. You know, for me, I don't have, like, I'm well, so sorry. Rollins is my favorite singer of Black Flag, but but I like each singer for different mm -hmm. Black yeah. Flag songs. Yeah, me too. You know what I mean? Like, when it's Revenge, it's fucking Ron right yeah. there. When it's obviously Nervous Breakdown, it's fucking uh, Keith Morris. When it's like, uh, um, Depression that like Rollins is my guy for yeah. that. You know, I like the Dez Des, one. Dez Kadeen. Oh, his mm -hmm. version of Room Thirteen is great with Dez. Oh yeah, Room Thirteen. Dirk, we are live. Yeah, like there's just I don't know. Yeah, I go off on like that's the shit that fucking. But you know what else fucking gets me going too? I'd say um, because I did mention Trapped Under Ice, and he's real, he's been hom homies with Justice for like years. But I'd say Trapped Under Ice fucking. See God. See God. Mm, that's and family if you right see there. God, tell him that I'm still alive. Yeah, that's like a song that like fucking, you know. Uh, yeah, definitely. Trapped in Rise hits for sure. Oh, uh, hits. Yeah. Fucking hits. Yeah. Um, so wait, the last one was Guilty Pleasure. Guilty Pleasure. No, there's another one too. There's... R. Kelly, if someone, if someone was to buy you a CD. Oh, yeah. And immediately when I read that question, I thought about being... 15 and my friend bought me integrity systems overloaded and i just i mean i was a, a cd nerd for sure like, yeah since i was a little like around like 10 11 i got really into music and just deep dive on every cd i could just devouring every page of the insert you know and just yeah, reading all sure. the thanks and reading man. all the lyrics and you know everything but i for some reason i immediately thought of like it meant so much to me that they bought me that for my birthday yeah. and, and that cd was like the, the first cd i remember as a gift and yeah. i was like damn like, how old were you like 15 yeah i don't even know but that. even saying that now i think i remember for christmas my aunt denise bought me black flag nervous breakdown or first four years first four years yeah yeah, 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 yeah. first four years but this shit oh, i mean this was a big jumping off point for alpha too like integrity i have a big i have a big ass integrity right here i know you yeah, yeah. yeah. they're from uh ohio ohio, ohio. cleveland i think yeah cleveland. yeah at 15, this is probably life changing. Oh <laughs> man, I love this record. Yeah, and I just thought they just looked cool and like they were a, they were a hardcore band that openly was like, we are in, we are influenced by Slayer, yeah. you know. That's so right. like, yeah, and and I didn't get into metal till after hardcore. I got into punk, and then I found hardcore, and okay. then I found out about metal. Yeah, you know. So it was like when I got into this kind of hardcore, then it was like, oh, there's metal shit too, you know. But, Alright, yeah, pleasure. yeah. What is it? Speaking of trapped in rice, um, there was a time where Alpha and trapped in rice and Bane did a full U.S. tour. That had to and be. And cruel, cruel, cruel hand was also on. Fucking it. Same. And then we all went to Europe minus cruel hand, mm -hmm. and it was just the wildest year ever. But the soundtrack to that whole year was Katy Perry Teenage Dream. Wow. We all got wow. like, a, like five or six of us all got like the tattoo. Like I got a big ass Katy Shut Perry up. tattoo right next to my integrity tattoo. What a portrait? No, I got two hearts that says Teenage Dream. Oh my Fr god. Franz got it. Awesome. Franz okay. got it. Uh Turnstile, like he was on tour with them because he used to do merch and, and tour manage trapped in the rice. So Franz got it. I got it. Brad got it. Justice got it. I think that's it. Wow. But yeah, we've all got Katy we, Perry tattoos. Are you able to put it too high up? I might be able to. Let's see. Send us a picture and we'll yeah, cut it in. Send a picture. Right, 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome, hard. dude. <laughs> no regrets. I got a Marauder tattoo, uh, an H2O tattoo, uh, Integrity tattoo, and then uh, right next to all that is a like, Katy Perry oh, tattoo. Yep. <laughs> I also got a crowbar tattoo. Forever, you make me feel like I'm living a teenage dream. The way you turn me on. She's so fucking hot. It's crazy. It's crazy. I, I, I've, I, there was a point in my life where I was like a degree or two away from her, and I was really, really hoping I was going to break the barrier and, and you know, get my chance. Oh, she's, she's from so uh, fucking Santa Barbara. Hot. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You grew up in the church singing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Same. What's up? Bro, that's one of, <laughs> this, this, You know what? I'm going to say this. This is a perfect way to top off the episode. Yeah. This is a perfect. That, what a way to end No this. one would have ever no, thought. No, that's what. Especially that's fans <laughs> that you name going on tour. Yeah, with I fans. know. And then all of a sudden he said, Katy Perry, Teenage well, Dream. And I love this song. We used love to laugh that record. About that at the Martlet. Like, what people think a tattoo shop is like and it's like metal and then like yeah. what we were listening to was like this or like the Spice Girls. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. We like, got this side to us. That's judge why, a book by its That's why it's right. glad that I'm, I'm really happy that I brought you on. And stuff. Yeah, this was <laughs> and great. And dude, anything Luis does, you gotta fucking check out. Whether it's fucking his Young Lord shit, Alpha and Omega. Um, he's got show. You guys got shows coming up. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing the, playing uh, the Belasco. S- SOS Booking does this thing Every year in December, called for the children. Hell yeah! It's, uh, they do a uh, toy drive. Everyone dona- donates a bunch of toys uh, yeah. and stuff. We've been doing it for like That's, fourteen years. Uh, it's when is it? It's December it. what? December sixteenth and seventeenth at the Damn. Belasco. Yeah, at the Belasco Theater. Um, it's always it's always an amazing show. I've I seen bet. Scowls playing, and it's yeah, playing. And it's playing. Uh, uh, Strive, Zababa, Strive, Zababa, yeah. yeah When's tons. the last time you guys have played together? Played we, you know, we took a we took a long break and then. During the pandemic, we played that crazy show under the bridge in Cypress oh, okay. Park. Like, okay, cool. That was yeah. like a that was Frog like our, yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, um, and also, um, but we just played recently. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, we just yeah. played. Two also, shows. Uh, there's an Instagram for the people that, like listening to, that are in the LA area to follow where Luis posts all of the events that he has going on. He had a Thin Lizzy night at Belasco. He had a nice. Slayer night at Belasco. Yep. He, what was the uh, La Ronda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He that shit that. cracked. Yeah, that, that shit was also, sick. That, that I was love that. That was at the Belasco too. He posts all those I'm really events. blessed to to have the the uh, open door there to just Fuck throw yeah. parties and and put on things there. They're, the really, they're really cool is, people over there. I always fuck up the Instagram. It's California, California Cowboys Collective. California Cowboys, California Cowboys Collective. Collective. Yep. Yeah. Go to that handle. You'll see all his events. If you're in the yeah. LA area, go to that shit. It's always cracking. Always good vibes, and it's just for the culture, man. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. dude, thank you for doing this. I know you, you don't do, do you have other stuff you want to plug? Your in, your Instagram? Your no, I mean, or? that's he just kind of plugged it all. Oh, I mean, yeah. there's oh, yeah. there's a lot of ways to find all the things that I'm doing. But, yeah, it's like my Instagram is devil's bed for photography and then cool. all the events and uh, parties and art shows and lowrider cruises as California Cowboys Collective. He's and also then, directed music yeah, videos. Yeah, I do all stuff. kinds yeah. of shit. I'm yeah, all over he, the place. Yeah, Luis is, I can't sit still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So check him out everywhere. Um, but yeah, dude, thank you. I know you don't do podcasts. A yeah, lot, yeah. So. Thanks for doing <laughs> it, dude. So this, so this is awesome. cool that you came by. So. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, this yeah, is fun. Yeah. This is a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, signing off. Lesser known characters.